yeah, one more sleep. It feels a little bit like Christmas, really, but better. Um, especially knowing, uh, you know, Captain's Run has been done in a terrific intensity. Uh, so we can just sort of relax a little bit this afternoon. And um, I'm just so thrilled, you know, to be here at Headingley. It's so homey for me. And um, yeah, let, let's roll. Yeah, well, we sort of rolled in Friday night. Um, had a relaxed evening Friday night. Solid run out on, on Saturday, bit of gym. And Sunday was pretty, pretty chilled. S&Cs and all that are conscious of, you know, not fatiguing us too much, so they're being quite kind to us. And then obviously today, like I said, to be on pitch here and, and starting to ooze, you know, those World Cup vibes, um, yeah, it's been terrific prep. Um, you know, from all the camps that we've had, you know, early around Easter, and, and for me, I only came in sort of at April, so this has been building a long time for people and the camps have just allowed for that connection cross club and um, it's lovely to now say that you've got some really special friends from who you usually call enemies. Um, but no, it, it's been terrific and hopefully that connection shows out on pitch when we play. It's been a fantastic World Cup and people that weren't, didn't know much about the sport already engage in it and now it's a chance for the women to do it and thousands of young school children will be here tomorrow. It's a great opportunity, isn't it, for the women's game? Yeah, absolutely, and I think it's the old case of, you know, can't be what you can't see. So it's lovely to hear that there's a lot of uh, school kids coming out tomorrow that hopefully get vocal and put a bit of volume into this stadium for us and, you know, hopefully inspire a couple to, to pick up a rugby ball of sorts. Um, because, yeah, it's a, it's a terrific game and, and we're just passing batons on to each other, inspiring waves as we go. Absolutely crazy. Um, I've got a little picture side by side of that, that little kid out at Monto Ruse with like little matchstick legs. Still got matchstick legs, but, um, and in my England jersey. It's something, you know, I never grew up thinking I'd wear these colours, but, you know, now I'm here. What an incredible opportunity and incredibly proud to do so.